In this episode, I'll take you to the only place on Hilton Head Island where you can hike or ride a forest trail, watch a colony of hardworking bees, appreciate incredible art, learn about the marshes and its wildlife, relax outside near a large corral with grazing horses, or inside a butterfly habitat. There are so many things to see and do at Honeyhorn and the Coastal Discovery Museum. I'm going to show you around. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hilton Head Island video blog. I'm Roman, and this is episode 16, Honey Horn and the Coastal Discovery Museum. If you're new to my channel, please hit those subscribe and like buttons down below so that you will never miss an episode. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. Honeyhorn and the Coastal Discovery Museum are located at 70 Honeyhorn Plantation Road off William Hilton Parkway and next to Jarvis Creek Park. If you'd like to learn more about Jarvis Creek Park, please check out episode 13 of my Hilton Head Island video blog. As with most locations on Hilton Head Island, you can drive in or ride your bike. If you go to Honeyhorn on a Tuesday morning, you will find the Hilton Head Island Farmer's Market that I covered in episode 14. Inside of Honeyhorn, the bike trail and road will merge, so if you're on a bike, use caution as roadway is narrow and you will be sharing it with cars. After a short distance, you will arrive at the Coastal Discovery Museum. The main building is a discovery house. Just walk up the sidewalk and enter through the front door. Throughout Honeyhorn, you will find lots of rocking chairs and park benches. There is a lot to see here, so don't forget to rest every now and then and enjoy the peacefulness in the rocking chairs. The museum offers lots of informative displays about Hilton Head Island, its history, and its wildlife. One of the highlights of the Coastal Discovery Museum is its art exhibitions. The exhibitions are for a limited time and are always changing. So check the museum website to find out what is showing in the gallery during your visit. I'll include a link to their website down below. During the filming of this episode, the gallery was showing art quilters of the low country. Described as with fabric and thread, the art quilters explore the landscapes and people of the southeastern United States. Behind the Discovery House, you'll find a shaded patio area with a fountain to relax a bit before beginning the walk around Honeyhorn. A 
Around Honeyhorn, you will find picnic tables and lots of information boards to teach you about the flora and fauna you will encounter here. During butterfly season, this habitat is full of new butterflies. But this episode is being filmed well after, so just a few butterflies remain at this time. Next butterfly season, I will devote an entire episode to these beautiful creatures. There are three boardwalks out into the marsh. They each provide their own views, information boards, and ways to get close to the marshland. I recommend walking all three. Maybe the most fascinating of the plant exhibits is the carnivorous plant garden. Here you can find Venus flytraps and other meat-eating plants. The last of the three boardwalks I will show you is my favorite. The Fiddler Crab Cove boardwalk offers a quiet, shaded spot to observe the marsh and water. It has plenty of seating and is a great spot to enjoy a book or just think about things.
If you have ever wanted to hang out with a colony of hardworking bees, well, you're in luck. The wonderful caretakers of Honeyhorn have even placed a bench here so you can spend as much time as you like. As you are out exploring the fields of Honeyhorn, you can find restrooms and a place to cool off at the farmhouse. Behind the farmhouse, you will find the trail that leads to the incredible Camellia Garden. In this garden, you will find over 130 varieties of camellias. There are fall, winter, and early spring blooms. On the other side of the Camellia Garden, you can explore a 200-year-old cemetery. If you want to do a little hiking or trail riding, you will find the Nan Lloyd Nature Trail behind the Discovery Museum. This trail will take you around the horn and you will arrive at the horse barns of Honeyhorn.
At the horse barns, you will learn about the horses of Hilton Head Island and the Low Country, the Marsh Tacky Horses. You can then walk out to the grazing corral and spend some time with the horses. Thank you for watching this episode. No video can capture the multitude of things to see and do here at Honeyhorn and the Coastal Discovery Museum. Just treat this video as an overview of some of the things here. You can spend all day learning, walking, exploring. It makes for a great day off of the beach. Don't miss it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button down below. If you want to see more of Hilton Head Island, please subscribe so that you will never miss an episode. I'm just getting started and I have a whole island to share with you. Thank you and see you next episode.